let's go over making yourself more productive in Mac OS because Mac OS by default, uh, a lot of times people just don't utilize the built-in tools. Uh, so we're gonna be going over some of the built-in tools like Mission Control, and then we're gonna go into more of an advanced section where if Mission Control is all you need, by all means, stop at that part of the video. However, if you wanna go more into the advanced section and go instead of doing stacked windows, you can do tiling windows and other really advanced features and really make the most of your Mac. So with all that, let's get into it and jump on the desktop. All right, so let's first kind of just showcase what I have going on here and what Mission Control is. Is Mission Control allows me to have multiple different workspaces. So if I hold Control and press up, you'll see I have this top section. So it allows me to see all my desktops. If I need more than three desktops, I can easily expand this by just clicking the plus sign. Or if I want to remove one, I can easily just go ahead and hit the X sign over here too. So a very easy to control and utilize. So that why this is powerful is we can assign each desktop certain applications. So here's desktop three, let's assign it Finder. We'll take desktop two, assign it our web browser, and we'll take desktop one uh, and assign it Word. Uh, so actually we have one, which is our browser, two, which is Word, and three, which is Finder, or whatever applications you want. This is just an example. And then what we can do is actually come into our desktops and we can actually rearrange these. So if I wanna put this in desktop two, I can flip over to desktop two and I have these two things right here in the same desktop workspace. Or I can just go ahead and push this to desktop three with just a hotkey and we're on desktop three again. So very fast to switch between everything and you'll notice I'm not losing any speed or time while doing this. So a lot of people spend a lot of time rearranging their windows or possibly going, oh, well, let me go go ahead and go down to the, the bar and click this and have it actually re-maximize. Or sometimes they'll actually use the full screen feature in Mac OS where this is aesthetically pleasing. It's just not great because you, you can't hit the dock down here. You have to kind of hold up, kind of come back in here. It, it can get a little cumbersome. Also, a lot of the tiling to the left and right by stock settings aren't great. But I wanted to just showcase, this is how I set my Mac up. So now let's get into actually customizing your Mac and how I did this. So the first thing we're gonna do is just launch system preferences, come into here, and we're gonna go into keyboard. A lot of people think mission control shortcuts would be in mission control. Nope, it's in keyboard. So we'll hit keyboard, and then we'll go into shortcuts, mission control, and then here's all our shortcuts. It tells you exactly what to do. I already went over control up, shows mission control, so we can actually select everything from there. If we have show desktop, F11, it'll just go ahead and show the desktop. So if we hit F11, it'll just minimize everything and just show the desktop. But we don't need to do that. The big things that I really use all the time are this mission control hotkeys. Now, the stock settings is you have control left and right. You can see how I move between all the workspaces just using the arrow keys and control. But these are usually unchecked by default. What you need to do is expand your mission control. So like if you're here, click your plus sign, add another one, and then come back into here. And you'll see if we come back, refresh it, you'll notice desktop four is on there. So select all the desktops that you want, come into here, make sure they're all checked and that makes that hotkey readily available. So, But that's how Mission Control works. Real crash course there. This is the pretty much the end of the beginner section of this video. Now it's time to really discuss something you've probably noticed, and that is my tiling windows. So when I take my desktop, and let's say I wanna take this finder and dump it into desktop one, and then we go over to desktop one, it automatically splits my screen and tiles them. This is called tiling window management. Uh, floating window managers when they sit on top of each other. I don't really like this because I like to focus on one task at a time or maybe just split them and just have a heads up on that one desktop. But if I do need to see full screen, I can just do a shortcut, go to full screen, see what I'm doing. I'm like, okay, cool, I got it. Come back into tall or a split screen like this. I do this with the Amethyst 
project. And this is done through this GitHub. So I'm gonna actually shoot this over to that one, come back into Workspace One. And this project is actually a spinoff where actually it took its inspiration from Xmonad, which is a tiling window manager in Linux that's very, very good. Um, that's where I got the actual idea to look it up. And I was like, oh, someone's already created this type of project. And it's really pretty darn good. It's still some rough edges here. I would love it if it was an all-encompassing applic application where you just install it and everything worked right out of the box. But sadly, I still ended up relying a lot on mission control um, to where I was only really using this to push certain applications to desktops and also doing the tiling and split screen. And that's really, really it. There's a lot more that this project does, but that's the two functions I, I really wanna focus on in this video. So to install this, you need to do homebrew, and it's just this one command. If you haven't ever installed homebrew, go to brew.sh online, launch into your terminal. From your terminal, you can just paste that command in. So come back here, we'll just copy all of this, and then we'll just paste this right into our terminal, and then hit enter. And then it'll request a password, type that in, it goes out, installs everything you need, and then you have homebrew. This does take anywhere between uh, one and 10 minutes, depending on your internet connection. Uh, but for the most part, it'll go ahead and do that. It does rely on Xcode, which is actually a system update. So you might need to go into your actual system preferences, go into software updates, and then just say update now. Uh, a lot of times you'll see that it actually says, hey, it needs this for the command line tools or Xcode 12. So you need to update your Mac when doing this to get the latest Xcode, and then it goes ahead and installs it for your homebrew. Okay, and then installation is successful. As you see, it only took a couple minutes for me to get this going. And then if we come back into our browser, we'll go ahead and close this out for now. Close homebrew, and we can go to this GitHub project, which is the tiling window manager project. And all you need to do is just copy this one line and paste it in. There's a little bit more we have to do after the install, but we'll launch back into our terminal and then just paste this right in, hit enter, it goes out, downloads this project, and there you go. So as you see, it's actually already installed, uh, so I can actually close this, but also we need to go into security and privacy and make sure this is enabled, otherwise it won't be able to manage our windows properly. So we'll go ahead and pull up system preferences, security and privacy, come down into accessibility, and then over on the privacy tab, hit our little lock, sign in, and then just make sure this is checked and ready to go. If you don't see it at all, just hit the plus sign, come into applications, select amethyst, hit open, and then it just drops it right in here. And then I would go ahead and launch the actual application. I'm gonna go ahead and shut down this one right now. And I'm just gonna relaunch real fast. But if you right click, this, you'll see there's start amethyst at login. You wanna check this and then go into preferences. And then it's pretty much set up, but there's some things here that you should know. Shortcut keys, there's a lot that this does, but there's really just a couple things I wanna focus on that I utilize all the time. So I really love the split screen and I really love full screen. Those are the two ones that I really care the most about. And to really specify tall, you can see I do control A, uh, obviously, I can, I can bind that to whatever key that you want to use. You, it depends. Just make sure you're not overwriting other system hotkeys that you use or application hotkeys because then you end up in, inadvertently triggering something from Amethyst. So make sure it's a unique hotkey and you can just click this, say, hey, okay, type that in and then you're good to go. I'm not going to do that, but do tall. And then I really like full screen as well. As you see, I do a command F for that one and I use control A, I think for this one. Uh, obviously you gotta be careful. Like don't use uh, command A uh, because that would be, you know, select all pretty much in every application. So be careful about the hotkeys. Uh, the other big thing here is throwing windows to specific screens. Uh, that, that's one thing I really like. Uh, so right here, throw focus window to space one, space two, space three, space four. However many spaces you do, what I like to do is do command and then a number, and this will actually throw it to that one. So those are really the only hotkeys I set up and utilize. This project does a lot more than that. You can even do a lot of floating and other aspects where you get a hybrid type setup. 
So I just use throw focus windows to spaces and I only have four labeled here. And then I also make sure I know my hotkeys for full screen and tall so I can split and go full at will. And that is basically how to be productive in Mac or at least have a lot more fluidity between applications. So you can easily do a lot of full screen applications on different desktop workspaces and this also is great for laptop users or people that don't have multiple monitors. Uh, let me know your thoughts. What do you guys think? Is it, did I miss another project? Because I'm really curious to see what everyone else's solutions were as a lot of uh, the Mac solutions with full screen and how it split screens in full screen. Uh, I really just didn't like it because it felt uh, kind of cumbersome, even though aesthetically it was really, really nice. But again, that might not be a fair criticism. Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you to all the Chris Titus members. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.